guys. Um, I am doing uh, this time. I am doing the differential equations, which I am redoing the problem that I up, that uh, I uploaded on YouTube, and that is a very bad uh, image. You cannot read um, the process on the board, so it's pretty bad um, video. But I am doing it again using a different camera so hopefully this time it works a little better so it's number five in this book right here number five in this book is a, a first course in differential equations with with modeling applications by Dennis uh, G. Seal um, so number five and I'm going to do this kind of quick because I only have nine minutes. So, so the, the problem is x dy over dx equals 4y. And I am doing which is called a separation of variables. And, and uh, it is a very simple method to solve differential equations. It's not that hard. Right, so what I'm going to do right here is I want to separate the variables, right? So I want to go ahead and kind of think that I want to separate the variables. I want to have the dx with, with the x and I have, I'm going to have the dy with the y's, right? So. I want to go ahead and kind of thinking and cross multiplying this uh, dx with the 4 dy and I get not necessarily cross multiplying but actually that's how I think and kind of help me to, to think in cross multiplying the dx with whatever I got in this side of the equation. Okay, so I get x dy equal 4y dx, right? So, now I have <clears throat> this, the dx right here, but I have dy right here. This problem, problem is not separated yet, right? So, what I'm going to do right now, I want to divide by y, divide by y on both sides, right? And this y cancels out, and I get x dy over y equals 4 dx. Notice that I put parentheses right here so it kind of help me that this piece right here is belong to the dy. Whatever is in the bottom here is kind of one whole piece. Now I'm going to divide every both sides by uh, x and when I do that, this x cancels out, right? This side cancels out, and I get dy over y equal equal 4 over x dx, right? So now <clears throat> I have a separated. So I separate the variables, and now next step. The next step is going to be integration. So now I am going to integrate integrate both sides of this, this, this equation, right? So when I integrate both sides, I gotta move it up here, I get I get ln absolute value of y equal four ln absolute value of x plus c, right? Notice that I only keep one c, I should have a one c on this side, but I, but I only keep it on this side because it is only a constant, so, I mean, you can only, you can keep two, but anyway, a constant plus a constant is a constant, so you only keep one to make it simple, to make it easier. All right, so now, I want to send this 4, right, to the top, and I get ln absolute value of y is equal to ln absolute value of x 
right? To the fourth plus a constant, right? Now I want to take the E on both sides. If I take the E on both sides, I get, I get, okay? So this Y, this uh, LN right here cancels, right? Because I take the E. And this right here is like uh, this E and this E right here, they are like bases. So this is in the form of E, E to the A plus B, right? So I want to go ahead and, 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 and keep the exponential as a whole, this piece right here. This exponent of the E, I want to just keep it as one piece, and I want to go ahead and say, and say y equals e to the x, right, to the fourth plus a c, which which this c can actually come to the front, and I get y is equal to x to the fourth, right? And the E comes in the front, right? So that is the answer. That is the answer for that problem, okay? So now, I want to go ahead and problem real quick. Okay? That's, that's number one in this book, which is dy dx is equal to sine of 5x, right? Well, in this case, I can actually separate dy is equal to sine of 5x dx, right? So I separate the variables already and I integrate on both sides and I get y is equal to negative negative one-fifth negative one-fifth cosine of 5x plus c, right? That is the answer for that one, okay? So that's it, okay? The, the integral of sine is negative cosine and then you pulled that, uh, you, you actually divided by that five and that's what you get. All right, thank you for watching. All right, I hope this helps.